Hello, Jet Setters. I'm Jeb Brooks from Greenergrass.com. I have come to Hamburg, Germany, which is a beautiful city, maybe a little bit more beautiful in the summer than the winter, but whatever. Uh, I'm here to check out this place, Miniature Wonderland, one of the world's most interesting museums. This place is uh, has been on my bucket list for a long time. Maybe, uh, maybe it's on yours too, or maybe it'll be on your bucket list soon. Whatever, I gotta go inside. This is really cold. All right, bye. <laughs> This is the largest model railway in the world. It's divided into a number of sections replicating various places around the world. The museum is housed in more than 75,000 square feet of space and is comprised of nearly 10,000 cars, 1,040 trains, 46 airplanes, and a quarter million miniature people. Work began here in December 2000, and the first three sections opened in August of 2001. Today, more than one million real people visit each year. The facility cost an estimated 35 million euros to build and is run by 50 computers. There are more than 4,300 buildings surrounded by some 130,000 trees. It's taken workers nearly one million hours to construct miniature Wonderland, and there's still more to build. Time flies when you're having fun here. Every few minutes, day turns to night and the lights come on. Tickets for adults are about 15 euros. Kids get in for half of that price, and you can book your ticket online, which might help you skip the lines. They can get pretty long at certain times of the year. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. I paid for my ticket. Some exhibits, like this Ferris wheel, are brought to life by visitors who can control the action by clicking buttons. Technicians manage the show from inside what amounts to a control tower. And speaking of a control tower, by far the highlight for me was the scale replica of the Hamburg airport. I spent more time here than I care to admit just watching the action, and I invite you to do the same. Passengers can arrive by car or by train. The airport alone took 150,000 hours of work to build. It has 40,000 LED bulbs, 62 miles of wiring, 50,000 lines of code. And the cost to build? That's 4 million euros. While not quite as expensive as the real thing, this is one serious exhibit. The airport hosts about uh, 250 takeoffs and landings each day, and some by the most interesting aircraft ever to take to the skies. There are a host of support vehicles, Everything from a fire department to catering trucks and super tugs, this airport truly has it all. Perhaps the most striking is just how similar it is to the real thing. The next day, we flew out of Hamburg to Prague. This video is from the start of that trip. And ours was a bus gate, so it gave us an opportunity to drive across the apron. It was almost eerie seeing it from this angle after we'd spent quite literally hours staring at it in miniature the previous day. Seeing the airport as we had the day before gave us an appreciation I'm not sure we would have otherwise had. In a way, I wish other cities would offer something like Miniature Wonderland, but I also feel that would mean it might lose its special appeal. Oh well, enough of the real world. Let's head back to the exhibit. What in the world is this thing? Leave a comment if you have any idea. I was amazed at how time just kind of disappeared while I was watching these scenes play out. It was almost hypnotic.
As a watch fanatic, I loved seeing Breitling's Super Constellation taxiing out for takeoff. And there's even a live departures board. If you stick around long enough, you can even see some familiar aircraft. Visitors to Miniature Wonderland never have to wait long for action on the runway. We'd also visit the Airbus factory earlier the same day. It made for a full, but fun one. Unfortunately, cameras aren't allowed at Airbus, but it was pretty epic. And you haven't lived until you've seen an A320 parked underneath the wing of an A380. Plans extend out to 2028 for the creation of even more exhibits representing Africa, Asia, and India. A visit to the miniature wonderland should certainly be on your list. I know I'll be coming back. But until then, see you in the sky. <laughs>